We are. We are. We are cultivate. 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 We are cultivate. Hello and welcome to a special mini-sode of Ye Old Crime, the show where Maddie and I discuss the funny, strange, and obscure crimes of yesteryear every Wednesday. This special bi-weekly segment is called Can You Crack the Cramp Word, which is slang for a difficult or obscure term, which I thought was very fitting. And joining me today is Ashley from the Life Curious Women podcast, And before we begin, I'd like to give her the opportunity to tell us a little more about herself and the show before we get started. Hi, well, thank you for having me on your show today. I'm really excited for this. So a little bit about me. I am Ashley Nadine Lopez. I am an actor and host and producer of Life Curious Women. I'm based out of New York, Brooklyn specifically. And I guess a little bit about... The show is that we focus on honest conversations with different women on different life paths, just sort of talking about their stories and exploring how they're learning, healing, and growing. Awesome. That is the perfect segue to my first question. (laughs) As you said, your show focuses on having conversations with women from all walks of life. What inspired you to start your show? Yeah, that's a great question. I I think that I always had it sort of like buried in me, this idea, (laughs) but I think it's two things. I think the first thing is just my passion for elevating women's voices and Mm -hmm. really, you know, showing that like all of us have something really special to share and that we can learn from each other and grow together. I think that's Mm -hmm. like a big major part of it. The second part I think is being an actor, I'm just really interested in like the human condition and and the way people have gotten to wherever they're currently at in their lives. Mm -hmm. And so I think that that's the second part is that I just, I genuinely like meeting people. I genuinely like hearing Mm -hmm. about, you know, what lights them up and why they're like where they're at, you know, in their lives and stuff like that. Yeah. Sure. Based off what I saw of your show and like the episodes that I've listened to, each of the women you talk to comes from like a different type of background and offers insights on a variety of topics. So what draws you to a guest? Ooh, that's a really good question. (laughs) Wow. I, hmm. I think it's a variety of things. I think it's women who are just curious, who are like doing things that are outside of the box sometimes that are, you know, not not letting fear hold them back and Mm -hmm. and using the things that they have gone through and the things that you know have happened to them to create something or to go after something I think that it's really amazing when you can hear someone talk about their purpose or their passion and I think a lot of times that's what I look for in a guest is someone who is just like thirsty for life who wants to keep learning and growing and that's truly like you said like a just in a range of things you know yep beauty to you know being a sports coach to working in politics or Mm -hmm. you know things like that so I just think I look at like something that I want to learn more about and I see that in other people and see that they're like passionate about something so I think that's what kind of like draws me to want to hear their story Sure. And last question, is there a particular topic you enjoy learning and talking about or one that you haven't talked about yet that you're really interested in exploring? Hmm. You can answer both if you need to answer both. Yeah, I think <laughs> hmm, the topic that, let's see, I like just hearing like the step-by-step of someone's life. So like if for example, I just did a recorded recorded a show with someone who's now a vegan chef. And oh, okay. I love being able to hear 
how that even came about. Like, how did you even end up in that place? So I just love being able to like explore the like step by step of someone's like history. I think a topic I haven't explored. I'd love to like interview a politician and be able to talk to them. Obviously, it's a, a woman, so just to be able to gain insight in how it feels to be a woman in that sort of world. Mm -hmm. So I think that's maybe one that will be something I'd like to do like next season. But yeah, I, I'm like, so I feel like I don't even know what I don't know yet. Like, yeah, <laughs> I feel like I keep exploring, finding people that I'm like, Oh, that's cool. Like I never thought of something like that. Or mm -hmm. I never even thought of like that topic or whatever it is, you know? Mm -hmm. And so I'm just like, so open and like excited to keep meeting interesting people and, and figuring out what lights them up. That's cool. Yeah. Welcome to Life Curious Women season two. I am so excited to share everything we've been working on for the past couple of months. Life Curious Women is where you will find honest conversations exploring women's experiences, learning, growing, and healing. Join me, Ashley Nadine Lopez, a Latinx actor and a lifelong learner, as I interview fellow Life Curious Women in their journeys to finding or following their purpose. Life Curious Women grew out of a passion to share women's stories. I personally love meeting new people and hearing about what lights their fire and how they have followed their intuition and their passions to create the life that they're living today. I think that there is power in community and power in listening to other people's stories to help push and inspire you to follow your own passion and purpose. So if you are working on your growth in your life, you need some inspiration, or you're just interested in the stories of other women, come learn and join the Life Curious Women community by listening to episodes weekly. Well, unless you have anything else you would like people to know about you or your show, we're at the Cramport segment. Yo, here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite part of the episode. Yes, I'm nervous, excited, and ready. <laughs> awesome. So your first term is Bilbo, and it is not The Hobbit. Hmm, okay. Can I get a clue, or is this just like a... I just have to guess. <laughs> I can use it in a sentence. Okay, okay. So give me one second, and I'll think of how to say it in a sentence okay, without okay. completely giving it away. <laughs> It was only in my travels that I encountered someone using a Bilbo. Oh, it's a noun. Mm -hmm. Okay. Huh. Ooh, is it like, is it like a tool? Is it like a, maybe like a shovel? <laughs> you are actually like surprisingly close. Really? Okay. <laughs> it's a sword. Okay. Okay. All so, right. It's a sword specifically that comes from Bilbao, which is a city in Spain. And oh. so it's a specific type of sword. So it's based off the description. It's a well-tempered yet flexible blade. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So like when I saw that, I was like, okay, so does that have something to do with the hobbit because yeah i was gonna ask it's like what is the connection there yeah because he had sting which was the sword that he used yeah so i was so, like maybe there is some weird tolkien-esque connection to yeah Bilbo. that's too i feel like that's just such a coincidence like a weird coincidence that there ha it yeah. has to be connected <laughs> yeah so i like when i saw that i was like that's really cool and interesting that and is i don't cool. want to know more <laughs> Now I'm going to be, like, using that left and right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me get my Bilbo. Yeah, exactly. 
he will be like, what are you talking about? I'm scared. They're like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> I'm both scared and interested. Right. I don't know what's happening. Exactly. <laughs> You're going to throw a hobbit at me? I don't understand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. That's a good one. That was a good one. Yep. So your second term is body basket. Body basket. And body like B A W D Y. Not like Oh body. Like bo- okay, okay. Body basket. Is it like is it like a somewhere to put dirty clothes, like a hamper? Or like somewhere where you like hide like lingerie or something like that <laughs> you are on the right track okay so it, it does have to do with something dirty okay a body basket is a peddler who sells obscene books and other small items really i wonder why the basket part maybe because they're maybe they're carrying yeah maybe because they're carrying it around but okay. yeah so so basically just some Kind of like shady dude who's like, hey, do you want to read this, you know, yeah. scandalous novel? Right. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, I'm definitely using that one. <laughs> <laughs> so. Cool. Okay. Well, now you have two cool new phrases you can weave into everyday life. Yes. They were totally <laughs> normal. People will totally accept it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have every idea what you're talking about. Exactly. <laughs> If nothing else, it's a great conversation starter at parties, exactly. right? Exactly. <laughs> oh, I would definitely be talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would like to thank Ashley for joining me today for Can You Crack the Cramp Word? And before we go, can you tell our listeners where they can find you on social media and when new episodes come out? Yeah, absolutely. So you can find us at Life Curious Women on Instagram and TikTok. And if you want to find me, you can find me through there or just Ashley Nadine Lopez. And we release episodes weekly on Wednesdays. All right. Thank you again. And on that note, as always, I'm Lindsay, and I'll see you next time with another tale as old as crime. <laughs>